And now, for example, uh, 3. And in this question, we're told that a convergent divergent nozzle is supplied with gas at a pressure of 1 meganewton per meter squared and a temperature of 255 degrees Celsius. The exit pressure is 0.32 meganewtons per meter squared and the exit diameter of the nozzle is 25 millimeters. We are to assume that gamma is 1.3, the universal gas constant is 287, and the ratio uh, and the specific heat capacity at constant pressure is uh, 1.006 kilojoules per kilogram degrees Kelvin. We are asked to determine the exit velocity, the mass flow rate, and the diameter of the throat. So we're told it is a convergent uh, divergent nozzle. So as we have here, we're given the pressure and temperature at the inlet. So we convert the temperature to degrees Kelvin. We're given the pressure at the exit. But we don't have the temperature at the exit, so we're going to need that. And we are given the diameter of the nozzle at the exit. So the first thing we're going to need to get is the temperature at the exit. So if I assume this is station 1, this is station 2, I can get the temperature at station 2, which is the exit. And when I plug in the values, I get that to be 406 degrees uh, Kelvin. If I have the temperature, I can get the velocity using this formula. So I plug in the values. So CP is 1006. So I convert this to joules per kilogram. This is the 528. This is my 406. And <clears throat> my velocity works out to be 495.4 uh, meters per second. Okay. Um, the mass flow then is equal to rho AC. And I have the C. I have the radius of this nozzle, and we'll assume it's a circular cross section, so I'll be able to calculate the area of that. What I need to get is the uh, the density. Well, density is equal to the pressure all over RT. So the pressure, when I convert it to newtons per meter squared, is three hundred twenty thousand newtons per meter squared, or is two hundred eighty seven. The temperature is 406 degrees Kelvin, this value here. That gives me a pressure, uh, sorry, a density of 2.75 kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, so I have the density, have the C, the velocity. Now I just need the area, and area is pi r squared. So um, when I get the radius, which is, yeah, the radius is, um, 25 millimeters over 2. So when we uh, put those values in, we get the area of the nozzle, and we're going to plug all of that back into uh, our formula down here. So we have our densities 2.75, we have our areas 0 0.000491, and we have our velocity is 495, and we put all those values in, we get the mass flow to be. 0.67 kilograms per second. Okay, so that's uh, two two questions uh, answered. The last then is the diameter of the throat. Okay, so to do this then, um, we're going to need to calculate the critical pressure. So we use our critical pressure formula. We're going to put the the values in. And we get the critical pressure to be 545 kilonewtons per meter squared, uh, or 0.545 meganewtons, which is greater than the ambient pressure, so we know it is choked. And we probably knew that anyway, because it was a convergent divergent nozzle. So if I have the critical pressure, I also can calculate the critical temperature, um, basically using the same formula, except we don't have the uh, the power here. And the temperature is 528 on the inlet, gamma was 1.3, so the critical temperature works out to be 459 degrees Kelvin. At the throat, at this point here, the velocity is at the speed of sound, and the speed of sound is gamma r t, and the temperature going to use is the critical temperature. 
So I used my 459, gamma was 1.3, R was 287, and I get the area to be 413 meters. Sorry, not the area, the speed of sound to be 413 meters per second. All right, so we'll use our um, m dot is equal to rho AC formula again. So we need to calculate the density at this point, which is the pressure over R times T. The pressure was 545700. The temperature was 459. And R is just a constant. So we get the density to be 4.14 kilograms per meter cubed. So the M is equal to rho AC. I have rho, I have the velocity, uh, C, so it's the speed of sound. So I can get the area, and it's the mass flow is 0.67, divided by 4.14 times 413, and that gives me uh, an area of 0 0.003336. The area is um, pi r squared, so um, we can uh, divide that by pi, and we get 11 millimeters. I don't know why I have a 9 there. Um, that's a typo. So uh, the radius works out to be uh, 11 millimeters.